Hello everyone. I welcome you all to the Agri Agri YouTube channel. If you are into our channel for the first time, please do subscribe our channel and also don't forget to like and share this video to reach the maximum farmer friends. We know that pests and diseases are always a threat to the global food production. So mainly in case of plantation crops, Phytophthora species are causing huge losses, economic losses worldwide and it is most severe pathogen. So uh, it causes uh, Mahali or Choleroga and also fruit rot disease in Arecanid and also bud rot in coconut, black pod rot in cocoa and also fruit rot or quick quilt in black pepper. So in order to manage this uh, devastating pathogen, mainly our age old uh, fungicide preparation that is Bordeaux mixture is highly effective. Even though so many chemical fungicides are there, this has rendered very effective due to its multi-site mode of action. So, in our today's video, we are going to demonstrate in detail the preparation uh, steps in the preparation of this Bordeaux mixture. Bordeaux mixture was discovered by PMA Millardet in the year 1883 to protect the grape points from downy mildew. Later on, in the year 1908 to 1909, Bordeaux mixture got extended to India when Leslie C. Coleman used Bordeaux mixture to spray arachnid palms to prevent fruit rot or Mahali disease. Bordeaux mixture is highly effective as prophylactic spray, which means it prevents the pathogen development rather than curing the disease. So, it must be sprayed well in advance during onset of monsoon. It is highly effective when sprayed using mist nozzle. It is also having very low toxic effects on mammals and also these ingredients are easily available in the market. Since its introduction, we are using this Bordeaux mixture to protect our economically important crops. Even though we are using it from ancient period, still lot of confusions are underlying in the preparatory steps of Bordeaux mixture. That is, quantity of ingredients required, pH stabilization and also water requirement etc. So in order to get rid of all these confusions, we are demonstrating each and every step in the preparation of Bordeaux mixture along with the quantity of ingredients in detail so that our farmers can get better idea on this and it finally leads to the effective disease management. Bordeaux mixture, a tri-basic solution, is prepared by using copper sulphate, lime and water. They are mixed in 1 is to 1 is to 100 ratio for effective control. Copper sulphate is available in markets in 1 kg or 50 kg packets. When we buy copper sulphate, we must see for ISI mark to get best quality and to avoid adulterations. When we buy low quality copper sulphate or copper sulphate without ISI mark, there may be chances of adulteration with ammonium hydroxide and also with other salts, which will reduce the fungi toxic effects of Bordeaux mixture. Copper sulphate is available in market in two forms that is diamond crystal and sugar crystal form. Both are having 25% or sometimes 24.8 to 25.2% copper content and rest of the content is the carrier. It dissolves in water up to 99%. Before using, 1 kg copper sulphate crystals must be dipped in a tub containing water by placing crystals in a cloth. Then tying it up and hanging with a support over the bucket containing around 5 litre water to dissolve it completely. After placing, just stir it once. It takes around 1 to 1 and a half hours to dissolve completely and get the clear sky blue colored solution. After 1 and a half hours, we will get the clear blue colored solution as shown here. Now we will see how to dissolve lime in water before using. Lime is available in market in two forms that is calcium oxide which is also known as quick lime or burnt lime and another form is calcium hydroxide which is also known as hydrated lime or slaked lime. Both can be used for Bordeaux mixture preparation. Here we have dissolved 2 kg copper sulphate in 10 liters of water. So if we are using burnt lime which is also called as chippu sunna, we need around 1.3 kg to 1.5 kg for 2 kg copper sulphate and if we are going for powder form. 750 gram to 900 gram will be enough and maximum of 1 kg. We are mainly using lime as a softener that is to adjust the pH which is a very important thing that must be taken care of. If we are using burnt lime, required quantity of burnt lime must be transferred into a mud pot and hot water must be added to it. 
after complete boiling or exothermal reaction we will get lime solution as shown here so if you are going for slaked lime uh, in powder form it can be directly added to a bucket and we can add normal water and dissolve it completely it is advisable to use plastic drums to prepare bodo mixture if we use steel or metal containers copper may react with the container and may damage it and also it may alter the properties of bodo mixture hence reducing its effects here we are demonstrating the preparation of 200 liter bodo mixture in a plastic drum in this drum we have added 180 liters of water now we have readily prepared 10 liters of copper sulfate solution and 10 liters of lime solution it is very important to check the ph of bodo mixture after preparation this is a red ph paper set with 20 strips and it is available in almost all scientific stores it has values ranging from 2 to 10.5 with specific color codes 2 indicates highly acidic and 10.5 indicates highly alkaline so as shown here if we take a strip of red litmus and dip in the lime solution which is highly alkaline it turns blue and when we dip it in copper sulfate solution color of strips does not change due to its acidic nature so the ph of bodo mixture or any other solution is estimated by comparing the strip color after dipping in the solution with the color present in the litmus paper reference chart ideal bodo mixture should have almost neutral ph ranging from 6.8 to 7 so now we are slowly adding 10 liters of copper sulfate solution and 10 liters of lime solution together to a drum with 180 liters of water stir well while pouring using a wooden bowl to properly mix all the ingredients with water so now when we check ph there is no change in color of the strip which indicates that solution is acidic and we must add more quantity of lime and stir well to make it neutral so now when we check ph the red litmus paper has turned light blue when we compare the color of the litmus paper with the standard chart it's around 7 and sometimes it may go up to 8 which is also acceptable so our bodo mixture is in neutral ph as recommended if we add more quantity of lime the effect of copper sulfate get reduced and if lime reduces the solution turns acidic which may lead to complete nut drop down in 2 to 3 days now we have properly mixed colloidal solution of bodo mixture with us so after preparation of bodo mixture we can add sticker or spreader or wetting agent if necessary which helps in tight adhesion of the particles of bodo mixture to the plant leaves or floral organs and also to other foliar parts take around 3 to 4 liters of water in a bucket and add 60 to 200 ml of wetting agent to it and then mix well then pour it to a already prepared bodo mixture and stir well until all the ingredients get mixed well now our bodo mixture is ready for spray application prepared bodo mixture must be sprayed on the same day maximum it can be kept for 4 to 5 hours after preparation under unavoidable circumstances such as unexpected rain or any other factors if you are planning to spray on the second day add 150 to 200 g of jaggery to the bodo mixture and keep it and spray the next day but this is not much advisable as bodo mixture may lose its properties so care must be taken to use the prepared bodo mixture the same day which is very very important also very importantly bodo mixture must be in a colloidal solution form and particle size must be very small and it should not be large if it's large after spraying particles adhered to the surface of nuts may fly off and render it useless so this properly prepared bodo mixture with the right proportion of ingredients will protect the crop up to 40 to 45 days that is up to 1000 to 1500 mm rainfall so this is our bodo mixture after 2 hours so here we can see two layers top 1.5 inch layer of water and bottom layer is of copper sulfate and lime solution so this indicates that our bodo mixture is at neutral ph 
If after half an hour entire water separates from copper sulfate and lime solution it indicates that bordeaux mixture is not prepared properly and also particles may be of large size when we are using bordeaux mixture to control black pot rot of cocoa we must remove the infected pots before spraying for effective disease management nammalli namma adike marake maddu sim padisuvanta monappanna navaru nammondige iddare ivarottige ondu kiru sandarshana ಮಣಪನ್ನ ನೀವು ಎಷ್ಟು ವರ್ಷದಿಂದ ಅಡಿಕೆ ಮರಕ್ಕೆ ಮದ್ದು ಸಿಂಪಡಣೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀರಿ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಒಂದು ಮೂವತ್ತು ವರ್ಷದಿಂದ ಸಿಂಪಡಣೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಈಗ ನೀವು ಅಡಿಕೆ ಮರಕ್ಕೆ ಸಿಂಪಡಣೆ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಅದು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಸಿಂಪಡಣೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀರಿ ಅಡಿಕೆ ಮರಕ್ಕೆ ಹತ್ತಿ ಒಂದು ಮನೆ ಉಂಟು ಇದು ಲಾಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಕೂತು ಮೇಲ್ಗಡೆಯಿಂದ ಗೊಣೆಗೆ ಹೀಗೆ ಬೀಳ್ಬೇಕು ಮೇಲತ್ತಿ ಈ ತರ ಮನೆ ಒಂದು ಉಂಟು ಇದು ಈ ತರ ಅಗ್ಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಲಾಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಈಗ ಕೂತು ಬಿಡುವಂತ ಈ ತರ ಬಿಡುವಂತ